Hi everybody, Gina G here. We're gonna do a workout today, full body, with weights. And this is a, called weight alternations. I'm gonna alternate between upper and lower, upper and lower. Two moves, um, kind of in a circuit pattern. Um, but your whole body's gonna work. You need your dumbbells. Um, I have light, medium, and heavy, whatever that is to you. If you have one pair, you can double them up. Um, you can also use a barbell here in certain areas. So, um, no step. I'm just trying to give you workouts that you can do at home. Not everybody has a step. So today, you just need your dumbbells and some energy. And here we go. All right, let's start with our warm up. We're gonna open and close the chest. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Move the arms front, lift them up, and go to one side and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up, other side. And one, two, pulling the arm, getting the oblique. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's take that side to side right here. Reach it up, up and down. Two, warming the body, lubricating the joints, getting ready for exercise. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hamstring, pull it back right here. Heels up to the butt. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knees up and over, pull. Bring the knees up high. You will pull them up. That's right, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Arms front, legs back. Good, lunge it back. Keep the arms straight. Get those lats. Pull that navel in. Push the heels down behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Now side out, arms and legs, reach. Two, three. Keep those elbows up at shoulder height. And five, six, seven, and eight. Punch up, knees up. Two, push straight up. Four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good, separate the feet nice and wide. Turn the toes out slightly. Lift the butt. Good, tighten the belly. Side to side lunge. Arms out, palms up. Two, three. Now reach your toes. One, two, Three, up top again, palms up, one, lift the chest, push the butt back, three, and four, now down, one, two, three, and four, we're gonna hold it over to the side, bring it down, 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 bend that leg, lift the opposite toe, sink it down a little bit more, get that inner thigh, hand right here, and open, hold, four, three, two, one, bring it around, up you go, up and down, get that hamstring, three, nice runner's lunge, four, and hold, make sure this knee is over the ankle and not the toe, hold, and rotate, four, three, two, one, two steps up, Sit back on it, hamstring, stretch, hike up that butt, 
and down and up with the toe. Four, three, two, and one. And roll it up. Come center once again. Lift the butt and lunge. One, two. Pull the navel in. Good. And we're going to hold to the other side. Sink it down, down, down. Lift the toe. Get in there. Here. And open. Twist that waist and hold. Two, three, four. Bring it around. Runner's lunge. And up we go. One. Try to straighten that front leg. Three. And four. And rotate. One. Two, three, and four. Two steps up, sit back, hold the stretch, and down and up for four, three, two, and one, and roll it up. Good, come center. Inhale, up. Exhale, shh, good. We're gonna begin. We're going to start with squats. So I'm going to grab my heavy dumbbells. I've got my 30 or my 15. So it's going to be a total of 30 because my legs are pretty strong. You go with whatever weight you think you can do. I like to put them on my shoulders for support and it keeps my chest from pitching forward. We're going to start with a super slow-mo, four down, four up and just follow my cues for the counts. Lift the butt, tighten the belly, weight back on your heels. Here we go. One, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Try to get those thighs parallel with the floor. Three, two, three, four, and up. Good. And four, two, three, four, and up. Good. Down three, up one. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three, and four. Two, two count. Here we go. Down, down, up. Two, down. Come on, you should be able to lift your toes. One more like this. Down. Good. Now down one, up three. One, two, three, four, two, two. Really control that bounce right there. Good. And down. Bring it up. 12 singles, here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going, 6, 5, 4, 3, nice and strong, keep that navel in, support that back, and 1, Weights down. We're going to alternate squats with push-ups. Push-ups do the same thing for the upper body, what squats do for the lower, so let's do it. Similar counts. I'm going to do mine on my knees. You can do yours on your toes or whatever you can, whatever your level is. Bring it on down. We're gonna start hips down and we're gonna start with a three and one. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep your head up. Two, two, three. Three, two, three, and four. Good. Two, two count. Down, down, up, up. Two. Good. Keep your navel in and up and four. 
Good, bring it up. Singles for 12. Here we go. 12, 11. Again, don't let your head hang. Keep your belly in. Nine, eight. Get your chest as close to the floor as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Second set of squats. So we're gonna go like that today. Upper, lower, upper, lower. Alternations. This is one of my favorite workouts because I get a chance to recover in between. So I feel really strong. <laughs> Lift it, chest lifted, weight back on your heels, tighten the belly, super slow-mo, here we go. One, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, two more like that, down. You should have heavy dumbbells here. Two. I have my 15s. You do whatever you can do, but try to have your heaviest set here. Good, one more of these. Here we go. Down, two, three, four, and up, two. Now down three, up one. One, two, three. Two, two, three, three, two, three, and four, two, three, two, two count. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, two, down. Get in there. Three, get those thighs as parallel to the floor as you can. One more like this. Down two, three, up, two, two count, down, down, up, up, two, down, up, up, three, up, up, and four, up, up, down one, up three, so one, two, three, four, drop, Push the floor away. Three, two, three, four. Down. Bring it up. Twelve singles. Here we go. Twelve. Eleven. Go at whatever pace you're comfortable with. Nine. Eight. Seven. Tighten that belly. Six. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Good. All right. Next, I'm going to release and keep breathing throughout. Now we're going to do heavy plie squats. And we're going to alternate that with some shoulder work. So I'm going to grab my 12 pounds. I'm going to hold them both. Now you can also hold one dumbbell like this. If you want to lighten up, that's fine too. Now we're going into a plie, nice and wide. Toes are turned out as far as you can comfortably without compromising your knees. Now in a plie squat, you do not move forward. It's not a sumo squat. You stay as straight and vertical as you can, like you're in a glass tube. We're gonna do similar patterns to what we did with the regular squats. So arms in front, lift the chest. Starting with super slow-mo, five, six, seven, eight. Down, two, three, four, and squeeze. Two, squeeze the butt together. Down, two, again, weight primarily in your heels and up. And really squeeze the butt cheeks together, particularly at the top. 
two, three, one more like this, down, two, three, four, and up, two, good, three and one, one, two, three, up, two, two, three, really squeeze those cheeks together at the top, tighten the belly, stand up straight, give me one more here, Good, now two, two count. Down, down, up, up, two, down, up, up, three, up, and four. Good, down one, up three. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, four, and four. Good, get ready, 12 singles. One, squeeze, two, again. Don't let yourself bend forward. Four, just those knees. Five, are bending. Six, push that floor away with your heels and squeeze the butt at the top. Four more, four, and three. Two, and one, good. I'm gonna keep these aside, because we're gonna come back to that. So we're gonna do some shoulders, we're gonna do some delt lifts, lateral delt lifts. I'm gonna grab my 10 pounds, I may have to go to my eights. Delt lift, start and end here so you have a slight bend, and you lift up to where your hands are level with the shoulders. Make sure the wrists don't bend. We're gonna do a two-two count for 16. That's it. Lift your chest, soften your knees, tighten the belly, and here we go. One. Go slow on the down. Don't let those weights fall. Control, four. Keep the chest lifted, the belly tight. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Back to those plie squats. So you see how it's going today. Second set. But we did have a little rest in between, so it's not gonna be that hard. Lift the chest. Now this time, we're gonna do some pulses instead. Three in one pulse, down pulse three times and squeeze up, here we go. One, two, three, and squeeze. Two, three. Keep going. Keep the heels down, the chest up. Your navel pulled in, supporting your body, engaging the core. Good. And squeeze four more of these. Two, three, and up. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. And four. Bring it up. We're gonna go down and up for 16. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Come on, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. Squeezy. <laughs> Five, squeezy, squeezy. Four. We got this. Three. Come on, two, and one. Good. Shoulders again. This time though, I'm gonna do just basic overhead press. So I'm gonna continue with my tens. If you have shoulder issues, do the delt lift instead. Don't go overhead. Otherwise, start and end here. And we're gonna push and pull for 16. Here we go. One, and pull, two, three, 
two, three, four. Keep the shoulders down, the neck long. Six, knees soft. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. Keep going. Five, push. Three, two, and up. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to go into a deep reverse lunge, kind of mimicking a leg press. So I'm going to grab one heavy dumbbell, as heavy as I can. So I've got a 15 pound kettlebell. 15 to 20, I'll try my 20. That's a lot, but I'll give it a shot. Start out heavy, if you can't do it, just go back. But if you can, you've done it, so there you go. So we're gonna do really deep reverse lunge. So the anchor leg side is holding the weight. I'm gonna go back as far as I can. Deep, deep lunge to really load up this leg and then come up. I'm gonna go with my 15 because sometimes, almost all the time, I listen to my body, and so should you. Here we go. Go back deep, keep your torso nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, here we go. Down and up. Get deep and up. Really try to get back as far as you can, and make sure that front knee does not track over the toe. Good, five, and up. You just wanna make sure you're not bowing, but you're staying vertical. Seven, come on. Eight, we're doing 16 of these. Eight more. Get as low as you can. Load up that front leg. Seven, and push. Six, you hold whatever weight or no weight. You don't have, you can use your body weight. That's fine too. Four, good. Three, hang in. Two, and one. Good. Weights down. Next. We're gonna alternate this with bicep curls. So I'm gonna grab my 12s, because I like my 12s. <laughs> Soften your knees. <sighs> Here we go, lift your chest. Keep the elbows by the hip bones and curl. 16, one, two, three, four. Jesus. All the way up, all the way down. Seven. You should have heavy dumbbells here. Biceps are strong. Two, they can take it. Three, challenge those muscles. Four. Six. Seven. And eight. Try to avoid swinging those weights. So, back again to the leg press. This time you're gonna work the other leg. So the anchor leg, the static leg is the working leg. Go back as far as you can. Get low, keep your torso upright. 16 of them. You got that. Here we go. One, and up. Two, get deep. Three, and up. Four, really push into that foot and heel to get up. Five, you can do that. Six, keep the belly in. Seven, keep going. Eight, good. Nine, ten, come on, six more. 
six, hang in, five, four, these can be a little tough, three, especially if you're holding a heavy weight, two, but you got it, and one, legs are strong, they can take it, all right, back to biceps. This time we're gonna do a hammer curl. Nice and tight. Keep those elbows glued to the side of the body. Okay, lift your chest, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven, you got this. Eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Again, this workout is all about strength, building strength. I have some cardio workouts coming. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, next, we're gonna work, do deadlifts, and alter the, alternate that with back work. Now, if you have a barbell, you can use that here for your deadlifts. If you have one of those, here's a, a good place to use it. If not, go with your heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna go with my 15s. If you have a kind of an iffy low back. Make sure you don't go too heavy here and that this goes for everyone. The key thing with deadlifts, your back must remain flat. Only go down as far as your flat back will let you. It's not about how low you go. That is not a deadlift. That's not, it's, it's probably a back injury. So only go down as far as your flat back will let you. Hike up your booty. Knees are straight but not locked, and they don't move. You only hinge from the waist, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start with three and one. You don't wanna do these super slow-mo too slow here. Soften the knees, lift the chest. Three and one. One, two, three, up. Two, two, three. Three, two, Three, four, two, three. Two, two count. Down, down. Really hold the belly in. Two, down, up, up. Three, down. We're gonna continue with the two and two. Four, for 12, five. Really hold that navel in tight. Six, down, up. Seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, again, the belly is tight, the back is flat, eleven, don't let the shoulders drop, like that, okay, and rest, next, we're going to do a reverse fly, working the mid-back, so I'm gonna grab my eights here. Don't go too heavy here. It's really hard to execute safely. So five to 10 pounds is the most. I've got my eights, that works for me. I'm gonna stagger my stance, hinge forward, and we're gonna lift up into that T again. What do we have? A flat back. Tighten that belly, athletic stance, Detract those shoulders, don't let them drop, and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really pull that belly in, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. 
Good. Once again, we're gonna go to those deadlifts. And this time we are gonna do super slow-mo, four down, four up. Really brace your core to support that back. Good. Now this time, we're gonna go narrow. Feet are inside hip width, and I'm gonna hold my weights on the side of my thighs. So when I go down, it looks like that. Really get into those hamstrings. Super slow-mo, four down, four up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and up. Two. Squeeze. Three, two, three, four, and up. And four, two, three, four, and up. Good, two, two count. Here we go. Down and up. Two and up. Keep going. Three and up. Four. Pull that navel in. Come on, just four more. Four and up. Three and up, two, up, and one, down, good. All right, next, we're gonna once again do those reverse flies, and we're gonna have that other leg forward. If you found it difficult, you can always put your foot on a stool or a chair, that will help support your back. So, I'm gonna go with my eights again. I'm gonna have my other leg forward in that athletic stance. Tighten my belly, bring my arms forward, hinge forward and lift. One, pulling the navel in. Three, four, don't swing. Six, lift, seven, eight more. Lift carefully, seven, pull the navel in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now, right now we're going to do a dead row. So I'm gonna go with my 10 pounds here. We're gonna finish off this set with a leg and back combination. So, I'm gonna have my feet just past hip width, and I'm gonna have my palms facing me. I'm gonna go down, pull and rotate, down and rock back. So that way you give that back a rest. Tighten the belly, shoulders back, five, six, five, six, seven, down, pull, down, rock back. Two, just finishing off this chest and back set with a little combo here. Four, up. Five, pull those rotated hands to your hips. Six, pull that belly in. Seven, we're doing 12 here. Eight, up. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Up, down, and up. Good. All right. Next, we've worked inner thighs, hamstrings, quads. Now we're going to work the sides of the legs, the abductors, A, B, ductors. So, we're gonna do side lunges, and we're gonna alternate that with some triceps. So, I'm gonna grab one 12-pound dumbbell, and I'm gonna hold it on my shoulder, okay? Or behind my head. That, that's probably a little more secure. It's also gonna help keep your chest up. 
We're gonna keep the elbows back and the chin up. Side lunge, push the butt back, make sure that knee doesn't come forward. And then push off. We're gonna do 16. You can do these without weight or you can hold the weight under your chin. That's a little bit easier or down here. That's also a modification. So whatever is easiest for you, you do. Just watch your knee. Here we go. One, push off. Two, you should not feel it in that knee. So you really gotta push the butt back as you bow forward. Good. Five, just work on that leg. Six, keep going. Seven, that's it. Eight. Nine, 10, six more, six. This is a full body workout for as much as I can get in an hour. Three, <laughs> two, I can get a lot in an hour. And one, stand center. Now we're gonna do French press. I'm gonna keep this 12. If you have trouble going overhead, get lighter weights and do kickbacks for the triceps instead. Otherwise, triangle hold. Hold the weight like this. Bring it above, keep those arms narrow. Don't let the elbows flare, okay? I'm gonna go down and flat head straight up. We're gonna start with a three and one. Here we go. One, two, three, up. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Keep those elbows in. Four. Now two, two count. Down, down, up. Two, and up. Three, and up. One more like this. Flat head goes straight up. All right, now 12 singles, come on. Don't let those shoulders creep up next to your ears. Three, four, don't throw that weight around. Five, lift it. Straight up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it down, give those arms a rest. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side, beginning with that side lunge, okay? You're doing great. This is how we get strong. Just keep moving. If it's too heavy, drop the weight, do the movement. Pick it up later. It's never a contest, ever. You just do what you can and have fun doing it. All right, get ready to go to this side again. Elbows back, chest lifted. Here we go. One, and push. Two, keep the chest lifted, the belly lifted. And four, good. Five, six, seven, excellent, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. We're doing sixteen, remember, twelve. Good. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. Good. Lift up. Bring it down. All right, now instead of doing that French press again, we're gonna do some kickbacks. So grab anywhere from three to eight pounds, that should be enough. I'm gonna go with my sixes here. Hinge forward, elbows up and pulled in. I'm gonna separate my feet for leverage. Look down and press straight back. One, don't swing. Keep the elbows up behind you. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Next. We're going to do some forward lunges. So I'm going to grab my heavy dumbbells, and you can also use a barbell here if you prefer, or just your body weight. Just don't land on the ball of your feet. So I'm going to grab my 12s. You can, I'm going to hold them down at my sides, and we're going to do four count lunges. Down, up, down, and back. This leg first. Okay, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. We go down, we go up, down, and push back. Two, nice and vertical with that body. Three, four, good. Bend those knees, especially the back one, so you get that loaded front foot. Seven. And eight. Come on, keep going. Four more. Four. Three. Good. Two. And one. Good. And push. Good. We're going to take it to the floor and do some chest work before we go to the other side. So I'm going to. Bring it down if you need a mat. Grab that now. Okay. On your back, working chest. So you should have some heavy dumbbells here. Okay. Starting here, curl your butt under so your back doesn't lift. Make sure you start here, goal post, equal sign. Okay. Tighten your belly, super slow-mo. One, two, three, four, and pull. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, and down. Give me one more like this, up. To even out those counts and down now up three down one we go one two three and pull again you can also use a, a barbell here three two three and four two three now two two count up up down down two up down, down, three, and down, and four, and down. Now we're gonna do 16 singles, and you're going to lift and squeeze the butt as you do so. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, squeeze it up. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna come back up and do those four count lunges on that other leg. So, keep going. We're going to do 12 of them. Down, up, down, and back. Other leg, just finishing up some leg work before we take it to the floor. Chest up. Down, up, down, and back. Here we go. Down, up, and push. Two. Good. Three. Four. That's it. Five. 
six, keep going, seven, eight, only four more, four, come on, three, two, and one, up and back, good. Now, we're gonna take it to the floor and do some more work and core work. So, I'm gonna grab one eight to 10 pound dumbbell and keep that handy. I'm gonna bring it back down And once again, chest press. So I think I'm gonna grab my other 10 and we're gonna continue with flies. So you're hugging a tree, so you might need to go lower with these than what you had for your presses. So bring it down. So the fly, you hug a big barrel or a big tree. We're gonna do the same pattern, super slow-mo. Turn your hips up. And here we go. One, two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four, three, two, even those counts, same equal distance. Good, now up three, down one. One, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three, and four. Good, now two, two count. Up, up, down, down, two, if you need to lighten up, do or just turn it into a press. That's easier. And up and down. All right, get ready. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, two more, 11, and 12, good. All right, next, we're gonna do a core circuit. So we're gonna start in an elbow plank and we're just gonna start with some stabilization here. So come on down onto your elbows, lift yourself into a plank position, meaning a plank of wood, nice and straight. And all we're gonna do is tap the the knees to the mat, three, four, five. Don't move the rest of your body. Seven, keep it still. Six, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn it around. Now I'm gonna grab one eight to 12 pound dumbbell or eight to 15, I've got a 12 here. And we're gonna alternate an arm and a leg lift. Both legs and arms are up straight. Start with the legs. Don't let the lower back lift. And then bring the arms and lift down. Up, down, and crunch. Two, up, down. Now if you can't stay up there, it bothers your neck, just keep your head on the floor. This just makes it a little bit harder. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Now if you have problem doing that, just alternate a leg. Just do one leg at a time instead. That's fine. And that's a little bit easier. 
Good. And up. Down. Good. We've got eight more here. Eight. Up. Down and up. Seven. Up. Down and up. Eight. Up. Down. Up. Six. I mean, rather, I'm going, I'm counting backwards. <laughs> Five. Keep going. And four. Good. Three. Good. Two. And one more. And one. Up. Down and up. Good. And we're going to come back into that elbow plank. And this time, we're going to do some plank saw. So, you're just going to act like a saw. Tighten your belly, hips down, and forward and back. Two, three, four, five. Now, if you're having trouble with that, just hold the plank. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to do ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back on your back. We're gonna finish before we do our stretch with the legs and arms lowering and lifting. Again, don't let your back arch off that mat. Keep that waistband firmly pressed down. Okay, let's do it. You guys did really good today. Bring it up. Starting with the arms. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Two, and down. Really control that weight. Three, and down. Four, and down. Keep going. Five, up, and down. We're doing 16 of these. Six, shoot. Seven, down, and eight, good, another eight, really push that waistband to the floor, eight, again, you can alternate your leg, seven, like that, that's fine, six, hang in, five, Good, keep going. Four. Keep breathing. Three. And back. And two. And, and one. And up. Very nice, everybody. I want you to lay right there and take some deep breaths because we're gonna do a nice stretch. And don't skip out on your stretch. That's your, your body's reward for what it just did. So don't deprive your body of that, okay? So let's go ahead and stretch. Lay on your back. Take a nice deep inhale. Good. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Good. I'm going to bring my knee in. Pull it to my chest and keep the knee where it is and extend and hold 
flex the foot and pull closer and hold. Bring the heel to the groin, knee out to the side and hold. Now grab your ankle or your shin, flex the foot and pull. If you can't hold your leg like that, hold it from underneath and do your best to straighten that limb. Now bring it in, rest the ankle on top, push the knee towards the floor, good. And then reach diagonally, reach, reach, reach. Try to keep your upper back flat here as you push your knee in the opposite direction. Hopefully you'll get a nice little air pop out of that low back. Cross the ankle over the bottom knee, pull your hands through the window of your legs, elbow against the top knee and tug. And hold, four, three, two, and one. And release, straighten, and let that guy float down. Good. And bring the other knee in. Keep your breathing. And shh. Exhale and extend. Hold and flex. And pull. Two, three, and four. Bring the heel to the groin. Knee out to the side and hold. One, two, three, and four, bring it out. Hold and flex. Try to really stretch. Keep your upper back flat. Now bring it in. Rest your ankle on top. And then push your knee towards the floor, keeping upper back flat reach. And look towards that hand as you continue to push down. Get that low back and hip and bring it up, cross your ankle over the bottom knee, pull your hands through and tug, get the rotator, the hip rotators cover the butt, so you want to get in there good, good, and straighten that top leg, go ahead and grab behind that top leg and rock up, and just come to a comfortable seated Position, good. Reach up and over the ear, hold. And up and over the ear. And up, finally inhale. Exhale, and you're done for today. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, full body workout. And make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. There's a little icon on the left side of your screen that should pop up. Um, it's the same as liking on Facebook. You don't have to pay for anything. You just like and, and or subscribe to my page. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day, and we'll see you next workout. Ciao.